Are you ready for some explosive news that could change everything for Arsenal? If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Arsenal News TV and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Today, we'll dive deep into a surprising shift in Arsenal's transfer strategies and potential future signings that could reshape the team's attacking lineup. You won't want to miss this, so stick with us until the end to find out more. The summer transfer window of 2024 was a significant departure from last year's frenzied activity for Arsenal. In 2023, the club splashed a record-breaking £105 million on Declan Rice from West Ham United, alongside Kai Havertz and Jurian Timber, who proved to be valuable additions to the squad. While Rice's deal was the headline grabber, it's Havertz who is finally finding his groove and making a mark as a key player for Mikel Oteta's team. It's a far cry from a year ago when the £65 million man struggled to make an impact, only scoring a consolation goal against Bournemouth. Now, Havertz is stepping up when it matters most, having netted crucial goals against top teams, including opening the scoring against PSG in the Champions League just last week. This season, he's already racked up six goals in just ten games, yet that doesn't mean Edu and his team should overlook the need for more attacking talent. Over the summer, all eyes were on a specific target in the forward positions, Benjamin Sesko. Rumours swirled that Arsenal would be battling Chelsea for his signature, but ultimately, a deal fell through as Sesko committed to a new contract with RB Leipzig. However, recent reports suggest that there's still a chance for Arsenal to revisit this signing in the next transfer window. According to Charles Watts, a well-respected journalist speaking with Court Offside, Despite not securing the player this summer, substantial groundwork was laid, and the relationship remains intact. Watts mentioned that Arsenal might be on the lookout for another attacker at the end of the season and hinted that Sesko shouldn't be completely ruled out. Fast forward to 2024, and Havertz has undergone a remarkable transformation, now thriving as a central striker. A year ago, his role was unclear, he could function as a false 9 or as a number 10, but his best position remained a mystery. Enter Arteta, who is crafting the German international into one of the most dangerous attackers in the game. With 20 goal involvements in 20 matches, 12 goals and 8 assists, he's proving to be a prolific contributor, averaging a goal or assist every 83 minutes, a record that speaks volumes about his impact. Now, how does Sesko compare? Remarkably, he's even outshining Havertz. The Slovenian striker, who could be valued at around £63 million in 2025, has also scored six goals, but in just nine appearances. His recent performances, including a dazzling brace against Juventus in the Champions League, showcase his incredible ability. Standing at 6 feet 5 inches, he has an inch on Havertz and boasts explosive speed and strength reminiscent of Erling Holland. While Havertz excels in various metrics such as duels won and passing accuracy, it's important to note that Sesko offers unique advantages, particularly in one-on-one -on -one situations and conversion rates. However, let's not forget that Havertz, too, has room to grow. At only 21 years old, Sesko is still developing, and when Havertz arrived at Arsenal, he wasn't the finished article either. With all these dynamics in play, could Sesko be the perfect complement to Havertz's style? He certainly appears quicker, stronger, and at this moment, more lethal than the current backup, Gabriel Jesus. So, what do you think about the potential of bringing in Benjamin Sesko? Would he be a game-changer for Arsenal? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and activate those notifications so you're always updated with the latest Arsenal news. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next.